What do we got here? Oh, 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 this is another Traxxas. Ooh, we've got a few different cars here. This is good. <laughs> yes. Found gun in storage locker. Some more wheels. Ooh, that does <laughs> that doesn't go with the RC. Oh, another. Huh. Let's get into this right here. Today we're gonna try something a little bit different. Let's just give it a shot and see if it works. This is a magnet. Let's see if this will work. Ooh. Okay. Got my protection on. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like we may have gotten through those. I haven't lit the house on fire yet, so that's good. That was, that was a good one. All right, what's up, Locker Nets? We're back at this unit. I think this might be our last time here because we're almost through it all, but there's still some boxes and bags in the far back to go through. I'm excited, are you guys excited? Let's get started. Right. right now we're gonna take all this stuff that I processed in the last episode, put it in the van that's gonna go to my unit and uh, eventually wind, wind up at the flea market or a garage sale. I got some stuff to donate, let's clear all that out, then we'll get started with the unboxing. All right, we tidied that up a little bit. Now let's get to the back. I'm gonna use this GoPro right here. I got a GoPro here, I got a GoPro here. Why is that? Because I got a new GoPro. That's a GoPro 9 right here. This is the first time I'll be shooting on that Christmas present. All right, let's see how it looks back there. It's kind of dark back there, so we'll see how this one does in the low light and see if it'll, I don't know, let's see if it's up to the hype. All right, guys, GoPro 9, it's on. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, I know it's really dark back here, so GoPro or no GoPro, it's gonna be hard to see. But this is basically what we're down to, this. And there's a couple goodies tucked behind the couches there. We'll get to those soon. But um, yeah, I see a hoverboard, bags, boxes. I do see an RC car here. Let's start with this box right here. Okay, ooh, ooh. what do we got here? Oh, 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 this is another Traxxas. Oh, wow. This one's newer than the other one, too. The other one had lots of scuffs on it, which is not a big deal. But um, the other one had some pretty sweet wheels and stuff, a little bit more complete. But this one's newer. So how do you like them apples? That is pretty cool. And of course, you see over here, these are the ones we found in the last episode. The other Traxxas car was near the front, this one in the back, uh, along with the bodies. We have three bodies, so... That makes sense. Two of them are Traxxas, I think. Now we found two Traxxas cars. Awesome, guys. Ooh, we've got a few different cars here. Yes. What is this? This looks like some kind of a 4x4. And, uh, wow. Wow, look at the suspension on this thing. It twists. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Do you guys know what this is? Comment below if you know what this is. It says waterproof for this little part right there. I don't see any um, brands on here. Made in China. That's usually not real good. <laughs> That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it, it's, it's very, very, very seldom a good thing. Okay, here's another larger model. Traxxas. Yeah, baby. This is really, really good. These Traxxas are pricey. Oh my, so this one's seen a little bit more wear. You see the scuffs and wear marks on there. Not a big deal if there's nothing broken. I don't see anything broken. This is good, guys. This is really, really, really good. Was it, was that castle engine? I think that's an engine right there, or a motor, sorry, motor. Oh boy, all the enthusiasts are gonna be up and on. No, that's not an engine. Okay, that's good, right? Good, 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 good. <laughs> and we had these little wheels right here. Those must go to one of those cars. Hopefully the Traxxas. Very nice. Ooh, all right. 
I thought there was only going to be one remote control car in there. And now we've got three more. That's four total cars we found in this locker. And if you didn't see the earlier uh, episode where I pulled this out, go back there because I found tons of great stuff right out the gate in this locker. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> can we find some more RC cars, please? All right. Let's get, let's get this looked at. It's not bad, right? Nice little chair. A little, little chunky chunk right there and some loose threads. Not great, but it's all right. Let's see what's in this duffel bag. It's got a little weight to it. Could be anything. Oh, I might I just mention, what a glorious day. It's getting a little overcast over here, but the sun is still beating down. It's warming up. When I got here, it was blue sky right there and just beautiful. It is January, I don't know, 13th or something like that. I don't even taste this. Whoa. Oh, what was I just saying? Please, sir. Please, sir. Have some more. And sir said, you may. You may. Spectrum DX2E. Need the cover right there. Feels decent. It feels like it's a decent quality. I know nothing about this, you guys. I'm just saying, based on how it feels, it feels pretty all right. What is this? Sidewinder 3? It might just be that one part right there. This looks like something very fast. Because you see those wheels? Those are built for speed. Those are built for speed. This little cord's a little worn right there. It was rubbing on something. I wish I knew more about this. Okay, what does this say? HPI. HPI. It's got the same castle motor as the other one did. Wow. Okay. This is good. <laughs> yes. All right. Look at this. Some glue. I wasn't talking about that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, here's some little parts now. I imagine these little parts and stuff can be very expensive. Here's some batteries that are popping out the side right there. So I don't think those could, those are most likely not good anymore. That's just my guess. All right, that's my guess. Yeah, yeah a bunch of junk in here, really. There's a wheel. That's good. Here, another wheel. Probably not that good. And a bunch of old batteries. Oh, there's a part. Three bucks, that's a gear, all right, for Traxxas. There's another part right here that's probably decent. HPI Racing. It looks kind of like that. I don't know. What? I don't even know what I'm looking at. I know my buddy Jeff knows. I'll ask him. What do I got here, Jeff? Is this something good? Send me a text. Let me know. Did, did I hit the mother load of RC cars? I sure hope so, but I don't know. Okay, look at those wheels. Oh, those are Traxxas branded wheels. Wowza. Good. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put all the parts in here that I think might be worth something. Okay, another controller. These definitely can be some pricey stuff. Oh, this is a Traxxas brand one. This one feels... Probably the nicest of the ones we found, but I think there should be an antenna right here, and that's missing. Um, definitely nice. The first controller we found in the locker, I looked it up, it was like $75 controller. I was surprised it didn't sell for more in our auction, and if you guys don't come to our live auctions, that's where we sell a lot of this stuff. It was this E-Flight, Advanced Electric Flight, a charger, okay, and that goes in your car. Yeah, we sell a lot of this stuff in our live auctions, guys, so if you're interested... That's where you need to be every Monday night at 5 p.m. Pacific on our YouTube channel. We do a live auction and we sell a lot of great stuff there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got some money. You know, that makes me happy. So happy. <laughs> and a little bit more. Oh, found gun in storage locker. <laughs> Alright, another charger right here. Profit Sport Lipo. Dynamite. It says right there, Dynamite. I think that's good. Some more wheels. Ooh, that does. 
That doesn't go with the RC. That's an Echo. I see the the uh, logo right there, Echo brand watch. Looks like a pretty decent watch, Mark Echo. Nice. Retro Play TV. 200 games. What is this? Dream Gear. Oh, right there, AV. Huh. Weird. Look at that. $32 for these two wheels. Those are brand new. Right there. Scorch RT. Excellent. Tires. I don't know what these are. There's some parts still on there. We'll keep that. These are Apple earphones right here. And just the case. Another wheel. Aha. There's another wheel. And another wheel. We got. Looks like. Four matching monster truck tires. There's another one. Here's another one. Here's another one. Got four more. Oh, another. Huh. Another Mark Echo watch. This one's seen a little bit more wear, but still a pretty cool watch. Nice. That's an unexpected find right there. Okay, there's some kind of rubber part. It looks like a, for a handle. Put that in there. There's the instruction book for one of these that one titan 12t another motor all right this is a can of cool bag not bad huh. okay let's get this out oh man these are so heavy <laughs> i haven't found one in a while i don't know if i've ever found one that worked i think i did actually yeah when i was working with manual we teamed up on one found one that worked I know we got the charger cable. That's really good because these charger cables are kind of expensive. Maybe they've gotten cheaper now, but I know last time, last couple times I found these, they were really expensive. Um, yeah, you see the scuffs and scratches and stuff, but that's all really, really common for any of these that are used because they are a physical product, right? People fall off of them, they rub curbs. 4WRD. I don't know if there's like a main brand on these, but this is just like some Chinese brand right here. Nothing real special. When these really, really got popular, there were so many people making these and buying them. Um, my kids wanted one. <laughs> you know what I did? Camille wanted one for uh, Christmas one year or her birthday. Her birthday is close to Christmas. so um, And she wanted one so bad. So what I did is I took a piece of wood and I cut it out in the shape of a hoverboard and I gave it to her. <laughs> I said, here you go, you won't break your wrist with that one. It's hanging on my wall right now. Couch cushions. Good to find if you uh, have a couch, which we do. <laughs> you kind of need those. All right, what do we got here? I think this is all bedding, which is unfortunate. So getting down to the end. Now we're finding the bedding. What's in the file box? My guess, files. <laughs> I hope not, though. Eh. Well, at least I got some skills, yeah? yeah. Look at this. These are all the, the label stickers. <laughs> They're just labels. They print on an inkjet. Oh, my goodness. They probably print on those. That's why they have the nice printers. They're trying to print labels. So they're making uh, marijuana vape prod products of their own. Which is why obviously they didn't care too much about copyright infringement because they didn't they make it on their own they're not exactly getting government licensing or anything doing it the right way and uh tri-valley vape okay the area that we live in is called the tri-valley and oh geez it's a little advertisement funny all right well that's what this box is <laughs> premium color paper you know what, guys? Paper is expensive. Don't uh, discount. You can find some pretty decent paper. That's going to go right in my printer. Okay. I've got this bag right here. Okay, first up, I know I saw these. These are more feet for the couches. Hopefully, we've got the complete set. And what else do we got? Here's some more Legos. Which is, I knew I saw these. We saw those. And there's quite a few, looks like, quite a few characters in there. Little figurines. It's one of the reasons I didn't want to sell the Legos. I just want to make sure I got all the Legos complete. Just do it. Push-up bars. You know, get, get a nice push-up. 
Mikey. Oh, there's another one. That's that's good. Because <laughs> yeah, it'd be a little awkward. Just one. This is some good rope right there. I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it right there. There's the there's the van. Okay, got a pretty good load. Definitely far from full, but it's gonna be a nice load for the flea market. Oh, what do we got here? Baseball. This is a little weight right there. Mm, okay, that's where they go. Hmm, look at that. That's clever. I've never seen that before. I've seen these weight belts before, but not with those loose weights like that. A couple decent uh, baseball shoes for youth. Okay, some baseball gloves. There's another chair, but unfortunately it does not match. These are cool though. It's got the swivel, like a bar chair or a high, I think it's a fair breakfast bar probably. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what this is right here. It looks like a TV mount, but now I'm starting to think maybe it is a uh, monitor mount, maybe for your desk. I'm not sure. Could that be? Nah, I don't know. It's definitely clamps on to something like a rail clips on right there maybe for an office ah, maybe there's just a whole nother part that could be too it's made by Sanus <laughs> all right we got these big rugs right here those are just gonna go right on the van I'm not gonna open them and look at them too much uh, yeah they're cheap Cheap, 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 but someone's gonna need a rug. All right, now I thought this was a tabletop. That's what I thought, and it might be. It's a mirror. That is really cool. Man, that's gonna sell. <laughs> that's a nice piece. Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna fit up there though. It fits. It fits. I'm loving this van, really. It fits so much stuff in there. That's a Pac-Man print. That's neat. Neat. 30 bucks. I found another one of these stools. They're very nice. Heavy. Nicely made. And um, then I found another hinge. So there's two of those stools. We found one very early on. There's the other one right there. Got two of those. And... Oh, this one's got, oh wow, look at this. This one's got a hinge and a bracket on there, maybe for bolting to the wall. This one doesn't. I was wondering what that went onto. And then right here, we've got another one with the bracket, but just the base, no, no stool. So there's another, huh, another hoverboard, but this one's a little messed up, I think. Looks like these are snapped off right there. So this one's Swagtron. I think this is more of a mainstream brand. I bet you we can order a replacement plate for that. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. Someone might just want to glue it on or something. And this one. Also, same plug. I think we have one charger. So now we have two hoverboards, one charger. And that's some good times. Hopefully this one still works. Hopefully that's just cosmetic right there. Crisscross applesauce. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It says family. It's a nice little sign, but it's raised uh, cut metal. That's that's nice. That's probably a $5 bill at the flea market right there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this dig. Okay, not for this episode, this dig. I think we've gotten through all the exciting stuff. There's still a little bit back over here. Bed frame, couple pictures. Eh, it's just not that interesting of stuff. And um, I don't know, I'm getting to that point where I'm like, okay, what do I do? I got someone to come to pick the dressers up. I've had them listed for like five or six days, start at 75, 50, 25, 
Now they're free. Finally, someone's coming to get them, supposedly. All right, we'll see. People flake all the time. It's so frustrating. But just trying to move them. You know, I, I just they're too big and heavy. I can't, I can't move those to my unit and take up space there and have to meet someone there. They just got to go. The time is more valuable. Um, this piece, I got to get this cleared off so I can list it. The couches, yes, I need to get those listed. Those should be a couple hundred bucks. But I, I won't get it until I list it. So, so anyways, we're going to wrap that. But don't forget coming up next we're gonna open that safe and see what's inside all right we're back at the nut house and let's get into this right here if you guys remember this is one of the reasons well i mean i wouldn't say it's a reason i bought the locker if this thing wasn't in there i would have still bought the locker i would have probably paid just as much money but the fact that there's a safe in there always makes me a little bit more eager to throw my bid in the hat or my hat in the ring or whatever this right here okay but look it doesn't make any noise so i'm not really 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 uh excited about it because i think it's going to be kind of disappointing but we're still going to get in there but i'm gonna try a new method usually you see me whacking away with like a uh, crowbar and sledgehammer and whatever we can find to get in here um today we're gonna try something a little bit different let's just give it a shot and see if it works all right so you see the combination here no lights are coming on batteries either dead or busted out sometimes the little battery compartment the door will actually fall open the battery will fall out i don't think that's happened here because you don't hear the battery moving around but um definitely uh it's out of juice right it's not getting any power check this out though it says sentry on it this this key i don't know if you remember me finding this key if i showed that I don't remember. Um, I already tried this key. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. It does not go in there at all. It's not the right key for this uh, safe. It's not going in at all. So this is a magnet. I found it in a locker a while back. I don't even remember what locker. Uh, it's pretty beefy. It's probably the inside of a speaker or something. So I've kept it because I didn't, I don't know, maybe go magnet fishing or something. It seems like you could tie it rope around that and throw it in the water and see what it pulls out. I don't know, but let's see if this will work. Ooh, that gets a pretty good, pretty good seat right there. All right, now I've seen on the internet, this sometimes does work. Putting it right there, sometimes triggers something inside, causes that lock to open. It is not though. Okay. In, in the internet video I saw they placed it on this corner but it was a different style safe so hmm. let's try it over here I didn't think so mm -mm. alright well it was worth a shot guys it was worth a shot all right, guys, we're going to try this a little differently this time. I've got a little grinder here. Let's see if we can dig in here and maybe cut the bolts off. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm willing to give it a try. I got this nice little Makita that I found in the locker not too long ago. Let's see, my angle's not great. Hopefully that thing doesn't come back and get me in the face. I prefer to do it this way. Starting to cut through a little bit. It's starting to cut through a little bit right there. It looks like it's starting to make some progress. So let me get some gloves on just out of just a little little bit of precaution. Okay, got my protection on. Let's go.
I feel like we may have gotten through those. I haven't lit the house on fire yet, so that's good. That's a, that's a side good. Oh. <laughs> That's getting a little bit better. I can see the bolts in there. See those bolts? I did cut, I cut into them. I didn't cut all the way through them. I wonder if I'll be able to. Huh. I don't know if this thing will go deep enough. Get all the way down up in there. Well, I've cut down as far as I can go with that. It's not going to go any further, unfortunately. So, let's get the crowbar. That's fun. <laughs> That may have just done it. Oh, that was it. We got it. But, wah, wah, there's nothing in it. Boo. Ooh. All right, look at what we did here, though. We cut right through that lip right there. And that's what these bolts go right underneath that lip. So we did do something good. Next time maybe I need to cross, either go further or cut crossways this way. Take this little lip off. That might help. I did cut into those. Not even close to through though. A little more than halfway through, but not all the way through. That's going to take more next time. I need a bigger uh, blade to go deeper. I need maybe a different grinder. Alright, but stinking empty. Nice little bit of foam, yeah. We use that to pack for our auctions. How's that? Hey, there's worth some money. Boo. And after everything, that's where the safe goes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode, and I think that's gonna do it for this locker. All right. Um, I don't know if there's any other updates to give. I went back to the unit actually today because uh, I had a guy that was coming to pick up that dresser for free. And guess what? Surprise, surprise, surprise. The douchebag stood me up. All right. Well, that's the reality of basically giving things away, even selling things away. You get stood up all the time. It's so frustrating. It's so disrespectful. Um, but you know what? I don't know. Sometimes, guys, it's just easier to take stuff to the dump. But I hate wasting big beautiful furniture that I know can be given a second life but man people make it extremely difficult on you I've gotten like 20 is it available still and it's like you reply to all of them and they're just like they just ghost you after that it's so frustrating free free so anyways um did go back there went through that little bit of stuff oh yeah there's a Thule bike rack okay so we do have that no key right to lock it and it looks like it's missing the little straps to hold the bike onto the I know all that can be replaced, but uh, anyways, that was one more good find. That's at least 50 bucks. And then today, that Thrustmaster, if you remember that uh, steering wheel that goes with the PS4, I sold that for 150 bucks local. I listed it last night. Guy came today, 150 in cashola. So that was a really good sale, a nice little boost. Um, but still, we're far from break even, I think, except for our auction sales has been going pretty strong with this stuff because it's been really good stuff. But um, local sales, I just haven't had time to list enough of the items to um, really make an impact here, you know, with the big ticket stuff. So anyways, at the end, the dresser, the entertainment system, the couches, all that stuff's either going to go for cheap or for free because I got to get it out of there. I need to empty that and move on to the next one because I got more lockers to get through. Bigger and better things to come, guys. You're going to go through it with me if you hang in right here on the Locking Us channel. Um, and I sure hope that you do because our next adventure is coming up soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lockin' Nuts. Thank you.